now it's so much more inviting than the old bridge. It's located like right at the intersection of two iconic streets in Toronto. I like the design. I especially like the bronze panels and I think the timing is perfect right for winter. For a city that's as social media savvy as Toronto, I think it's Instagram worthy. The significance of the Toronto Wheaton Centre Bridge from a historic standpoint goes back to the 1970s when the Eaton Centre was originally built and it wanted to connect uh, the North Queen Street block with the, with the South Queen Street block. Uh, it's significant because over two million people a year uh, use that bridge. Uh, it's important for us to, um, to recognize the um, fact that it does cross Queen Street. It's, it's a very noticeable landmark. And, um, and it was important after this amount of time to replace the bridge with something that was significant and represented the quality which exists today. Our old bridge served us so well for 40 years and it was time to change that role. The bridge used to just be a thoroughfare from one building to the other. Now today we're adding a new icon to Toronto's skyline that connects two iconic properties, the Hudson's Bay Building and the CF Toronto Eaton Centre. And now they're, they're truly connected with something that, that, that reaches into the past of both of them and brings them together. Because of the significance of the bridge, we thought it was important to hold an international design competition. So architects from the UK, the US and Canada were invited to submit. Ultimately the winner was Wilkinson Air from the UK. Uh, they partnered with a local firm called Zeidner Architects who coincidentally were also the original architects um, of the uh, Toronto Eaton Centre as it was then called uh, back in the 1970s. Bringing Zeidler back into the mix was, was uh, very important. They bring the history, the subtle details that help bring the Eaton Centre, make it what it is. There are, there are minor little things that Ebb Zeidler would have uh, included that other architects may not have paid so much attention to. So having Zeidler help us reinvent the Eaton Centre is a big part of our 40th year. Uh, the original design of the Toronto Eaton Centre was very honest in, in that uh, there was a very clear use um, of unadorned mechanical, structural, electrical systems that were all sort of on display in an honest manner. The new bridge actually uses that same kind of approach in that it's three simple materials uh, used in a very honest way, but in this case updated to the latest cutting edge technologies that we can use for those uh, building elements. Uh, our challenge was to generate a, a form and an architecture that was sympathetic to those two buildings. So what you see is a, is a, a bridge at one end which has a geometry that approximates to the arches of the Hudson Bay and a form then that uh, has to relate to the Eaton Centre at the other end, which is this more rectangular shape. So we get a form that, that translates, uh, transforms from the semicircular arch of the Hudson Bay across to the rectangular shape of Toronto Eaton Centre. And that gives you this dynamic twisting form that uh, flows over Queen Street in a, in a really exciting way. So the deconstruction, my favorite part was watching the claw start to pull it apart, the old bridge once it was down and out of its way, because that really signified it was gone and it was time for something new. What was unique in the deconstruction of the existing bridge was to remove the basic elements of the bridge while it was in its place over top of an operational Queen Street. But then over the course of a weekend, we used a uh, hydraulic multi-purpose self-propelled vehicle with 144 wheels to move the bridge off, this, off its existing place and onto James Street for removal. The structure's overhead glass framing was removed and hauled off for recycling, which is part of a commitment to sustainable construction and recycling with the environment. In building a bridge in the downtown core besides the Toronto Eaton Centre, a lot of consideration went into both private and public transit and how we had to address that. We spent a lot of time meeting with both the city and TTC. Both were very cooperative and supportive in our approach. Uh, it meant a lot of planning, a lot of meetings to ensure that we were able to do this in a safe fashion that uh, minimized the impact to the public, to the private vehicles, and also to, and most importantly, probably to the uh, shoppers and patrons of the Toronto Eaton Centre and the Hudson Bay Sachs Centre. In terms of the new construction, the moment it dropped into place and the SPMT, the self-propelled mobile transporter, once it let the bridge sit on the Eaton Centre in the Bay Building, it was amazing. 
one of the Sealy engineers came over and he tapped my shoulder and he said, see, it works. And we watched the first person walk across the bridge. I'll forever remember that moment. We've accomplished uh, a, a very delicate dance with our partners at HBC and the CF Toronto Eaton Centre operations. Our retailers have been very, very uh, accommodating. We're working during the day in the Eaton Centre, which is really rarely done. But we've turned our construction site into a bit of a, an attraction and it's worked very well. And so I can only thank our, our operations partners on both sides of Queen Street for allowing us to, to do it the way we have done it. We're really proud of the role the bridge has played, linking the Toronto Seat Eden Centre across Queen Street um, over the last 40 years. We, we really see the, the new bridge, this really great sculptural iconic element, uh, serving the same purpose over the next 40 years. And we think it'll be an icon in itself that people will come and, come and visit just to see the architectural uh, quality of the bridge. I think it's a really nice like, uh, piece of, of architecture uh, compared to the old bridge that looked like the 70s. This one brings us like into modern times. With all this talk of walls, it's really comforting to see a bridge being built. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a nice contrast with the cityscape behind it and it's old and new together. It's really wonderful.